Yeah. Mm-mm, good. Rolling bean pie. Best on earth. Baked freshly daily. Rolling bean pie. Get yours today. Call us at area code 216 355 9702. We will deliver to you. Call us. Get yours. Now, bean pie. It's good. Yeah, I love it. What you know about from the Society of Urban Professionals, Mr. Alton yeah. Tinker. Oh! How you doing, sir? Thank you, sir. Thank you for having me tonight. Now, for those of you that don't know, a lot of you that's watching, you already know that Alton right here is a councilman for War 3 in Bedford. What you know about that, huh? But he also is an underwriter, or were an underwriter, right? Which still I am. Still I am. Still are. Yes. We're dealing with community development at Key Bank. Yes. One of the largest banks in Cleveland, Ohio. Man, how did you get started with that? How did I get started in banking? Yeah, in banking and becoming an underwriter for community development. Well, let me start a little bit. How do I get? How do, how do you get? How do I get in banking in the first place? Right. Which was um, a very different. Um, thing for me because my background is actually an engineer and I actually have a, a degree in industrial engineering. Science, which is a science degree. Yes, and um, so I actually went to Cleveland State University, got an MBA, Okay. and from my MBA I, I got a job at Key Bank. Actually, I got a job first at Bank One, which is now Chase, J.P. Morgan, and um, from there I got back, um, a position at, bank, at Key Bank in 1998, so I've been there about 15 years now. Now, what and what? How did engineering get lost in translation? What, what, <laughs> it went from you know I went to Cleveland State for engineering, graduated, and then I went to J.P. Morgan and Chase. You know how? Where? What happened to engineering? Well, actually, I got my. I started out in college at University of Madison okay. and was University of Wisconsin in Madison, and from there I left and actually was in the Air Force for four years. Oh, you were in the Air Force? Yes. Okay. And then after that, well, after I get out of the Air Force, I um, got my MBA from Cleveland State, and that's how I made the transition into banking. Right, right. Okay, so, um, so okay, so and you made the transition into banking. Did you ever have any inclination that you were going to get into the money system? You know, um, I got into engineering because I was um, basically following in my father's footsteps. So that's why I got into engineering in the first place. I never really wanted to do it. I always had a business background, uh, not background, I always had a business mentality. Okay. And so uh, I got led into engineering because I always did well in school. My, my father's a mechanic, and so always, you know, you try, always trying to follow oh, he your was father's a mechanic. footsteps. Yeah, was, so. was he in the military also? No, no. Give you a little bit of background. Actually, I'm from Jamaica, so I was born in Jamaica. I came up here when I was 13 years old, so... You know, my father and both my mother are um, obviously Jamaican. So. Wow, what you know about that? You were 13, come, what part of Jamaica? Kingston? Well, you know, all, most of us was born in Kingston. I grew up in um, what's called St. Catherine, which is, you know, if you look at Jamaica, we are divided into what's called parishes. Versus, right. in, over here, they call them states. Okay. So I grew up in what's called St. Catherine, um, area called Gregor Park, which most people know is close to Spanish Town. So Spanish Town is more known. Um, Gregor Park is about 30 miles away from Spanish town. Now, coming over to the States at age 13, you were already of a developing mind right then and there. You know, what made you, you know, buckle down and want to adapt to your business mind itself when you could have went another whole route? Well, you know, I, I gave a lot of praise to my mother um, because my mother's one that really pushed me. Um, I, can't, I have an older sister, and both of us came up here at the same time. And, you know, for most people that know about Jamaica, it's a third world country. So, right. you know, it's a country that, um, you know, there's not a lot of opportunities there. So uh, when my older sister and I came here, um, my mother really pushed education. So, you know, both of us went to school, both of us went to college. So, you know, we give a lot of credit uh, to my mother. And if you were look at my mother, my mother only had sixth grade education. You know, it took me a long time to really tell people what my mother did. Okay. You know, my mother cleaned houses okay. uh, to put us through school. Okay. You know, I, 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 it took me a long time to even be so proud of her. But, you know, when you look at what she has accomplished with just a sixth grade education, you look at my sister and I, both um, college grad. I got two other younger sisters that are both college grads. So she has four children right. that went to school, went to college, graduated, 
And when you look back at my mother, she only had a sixth grade education. So it just shows you that you don't need a parent with college degree and thing like that in order to um, um, get a good education. It's all about looking at, you know, for opportunities right. and, um, and, and seizing now, those opportunities. Now, besides your underwriting abilities and to be able to, to work at banks and, and, and things of those natures, a lot of people don't know hey, you also were president of the Greater Cleveland Film Festival, right? Well, Urban Film Festival. I, I'm, I'm, I'm one of the co-founders, and I serve as president of the foundation. And let me just explain that just a little bit. Um, through, I started what's called the Society of Urban Professionals back in 1999. Right. And, and what we do there is basically a lot. We do a lot of networking um, events. Our mission basically would be the premier networking organization that connect um, urban professionals. Okay. So we do a lot of events, and, you know, again, our main goal is just bas- basically connecting people and building relationships. From that, we were, That's what soup is all about. That's what soup is all about. And it doesn't matter the creed. You know the gender or what or does or does it? No, it does. It does matter. You know, when, when we started, when I started Soup, people all asked me why start another, in a sense, black organization. And because back then I was already having an MBA, I was part of the National Black MBA Association. I got my MBA back in 1994. Um, so the difference between Soup, as we call it, Society of Urban Professionals, and all other organizations, is that we're open to everybody. So we, we're not limited to either degree, education. We're, we're very inclusive. And what that does, it allows us to grow very rapidly. We started out with 12 of us back in 1999. Which are over like 6,000? There's, there's 6,000 of us right now. Wow. So we're one of the largest Big. organizations right now just because we don't exclude anybody. Right. Right. And the main purpose is everyone that's involved in that networks and uplift each other. Yes, uh, you know, it's when it comes to... Put people in the right places, meet the right people they need to meet. Yes, to because further and it's all about careers. economic development. You economic know, development. Th- you know, that's what we try to do. We try to connect people. So either either we're looking for a better job, um, you know, you're looking to make friends. If somebody's new to Cleveland, you're looking to, to make friends. So that's the kind of thing. The second thing that we do, actually, we do actually three things. We actually work with companies to help recruit minor, um, qualified minorities. Okay. Uh, so we work with Progressive um, Insurance. We work with um, PNC Bank. Right. Um, um, Four City. Uh, so we work with several companies to help them um, on the recruiting side. And we also we plan a lot of events, <laughs> you know, as you know. Right. Um, so this Dealing is kind, with, that's actually to allow that's how, the networking to take place. Yes, and that's kind of how the film festival uh, came about, actually. Because it's, of all the networks. Because all the events that, that we planned, we were looking for something to do that was bigger than just a one-time event. Right. So the film festival actually became a four-day event. Okay. And um, the way that came about, um, I have a partner named Donna Dabbs. She went to the Cleveland International Film Festival. And what, when she looked around, there was not many of us there. So when she came back to me, she said, Alton, you know, I, I know what we should, we should be doing. We should be doing a film festival. And you know, none of us is in the entertainment industry, but what we're good at is organizing events. So from there, um, you know, we, we did our research. We found out that there was actually quite a few um, black film festivals that, um, around. And so we did our research. We went to a few of them and said, we know we can do this in Cleveland based on what we saw. Right. So last year was our first year. First um, annual. First, first one, we took a big risk. We had a, a guy by the name of Mark Perkins that actually believed in us. He wrote a check um, after we um, went to him and said, you know, this is what we, we wanted to do. We gave him our vision, and he said, we'll, you know, we'll support you. So I always give him credit because he wrote the first check right. to allow us to rent the theater right. and start this thing off. So right. um, last year we had over 800 people that attended. Right. Um, um, it's at the Shaker Square Cinema. This year it will be held April the 18th through the 21st. Right. Again, it's a four-day event, so we, have a, um, we open up on the 18th with a, um, a really, really nice film called Elza. Um, we have an actor coming here called Ilamu Nelson. He's actually in our closing film okay. uh, called Things Never Said. And um, so we have a lot of filmmakers that are coming. Uh, most, right. most of these are independent filmmakers. So the way we look at, at this thing is we are providing a platform for independent filmmakers to show their work because they don't have the opportunity right. to be on, on the TV. Uh, um, you know, right about that. One last thing too. before you go real quick. What can you say to the young man right now, not from Jamaica, but growing up in the ghetto <laughs> of Cleveland right now, 
don't know what he want to do, but he's about seven years old. Well, you know, I always said education is important. Right. Because education is the key to economic development. So if you're looking um, to get out of poverty, the best thing you can do is to get good education. Are you going out tonight or this weekend? If so, you're looking good. So now, why don't you get the smell good? Get your body oil only at the Clear Tea Oil Shop. Stop in or call us. 216-355-9702. Get yours today. Oil Shop. Smell good. So good. So good.